Hello and welcome to Let's Translate. We're going to be getting back to Jojo manga here. And as you can see on the side over here, we have the manga. And as I go along, I'm going to break down all of these words, all of these grammar points. I'm going to move around, you can see everything here. And then below me, in case I'm ever going too fast, you can't quite hear something, I will be copying and pasting down the definitions for all those words to help you follow along. If you ever want to pause, you can take a second and look through those, then can I come back? <laughs> so where we are in the manga is... Atto, this is Dio and Jojo, and they're like kind of in a local kids like boxing ring thing. So they've challenged each other, and Dio just bet a whole lot of money. But now, after like the rules have been explained, we basically just like explain that if they get hit in the face once, or if they get knocked down for 10 seconds, they're done. But they can get as many body blows in, and that doesn't count. That's the basic rules of this boxing match. So here we are on our new page, and this is from Dio. Let's see here. There we go. So, kao ni ipatsu. So kao is your face, and then ni is like two, it's like the, the direction or goal, so towards your face, Ipatsu is one hit or one like charge, one round, it's like one hit to the face. And then like uchi komeba, that is the ba conditional of buchi komu, which is to throw, to toss, or to cast. And that is a godan mu ending verb. So to make it into its ba form, that mu, that u based ending changes to its a based ending, and then you add on a ba. So uchi komu becomes uchi komeba. So if you throw one hit to the face, kachi, which is to win. So one hit to the face wins. And so hotondo, that's like roughly or nearly. Let's see more words. Let me just do this part. You can see everything. So, sude, this part is unarmed or with your bare hands. And then de is with or by, so with your bare hands. And then yaru is to do. And then by is like the case or situation. So like the time, and then like this is when. Okay, so the time when you were doing it with your bare hands. So like when he was doing bare hand boxing. Like, onaji is the same, and then da is declarative, and then na is adding in some emphasis. Those are. So it's like, that's roughly the same rules as when he was doing bare, bare knuckle fighting. <laughs> He's so rough. Oh, gee. So the next part. So we have ipatsu is one hit again, and then de is with one hit, kachimake is like it's winning and losing and then ga makes that the subject it's so like as for winning and losing kimaru is decided so winning or losing is decided with one hit so next we have sono ruru nara so sono is like that or those and then ruru that's english which is why it's in katakana here so that rules or those rules and na nada is if, so if those are the rules. Do do do. Dun dun, which is London, which is where he comes from. That's why it's katakana, because it's an English word again. And then day is showing the location, so in London, at London. And then we have this yate te, which is the te iru te form of yaru, which is to do. And like yaru is like a little bit rougher version of sudu, essentially. So, to first make it to its te-iru form, yaru is a godan verb. So you first change that do to a tanitsu and a teiru. <laughs> so yaru becomes yatteiru. So that's like, you're doing it. It's kind of like the garan, you're doing it. You're going to keep doing it. You're going to do it into the future. And then 
that we're gonna change it to te again and this second te is just gonna link it to shiteiru so it's like doing and knowing <laughs> and to make this other te all teiru forms are in their ichidan our ichidan verbs so to make it te that nuru just changes to te so yaru becomes yatteiru becomes yatete so doing and and then this shiteiru is the teiru form of shiru which is to know or to understand and to make that teiru you take um this is another godan ending word so that do changes to teiru <laughs> really similar to this one so shiteiru yatteiru so that's like knowing and doing in london so if that's the case, if those are the rules, that's the same stuff we were doing in London, essentially. And then this ba ba, he's like busting his fist together. Jojo's all like, oh, surprise! I didn't know that. He's like, totally. <laughs> um, and then the gang, that is like the bells, like ring ring, time to start fighting. So this kudu is him whipping his face around. Then Geitz, he's putting his hands up. <laughs> so here's the kudu. Yep. Then we have Ike Jojo. You can see this is like it's kind of funny. We have the furigana with the English. <laughs> so this is like um, what the katakana is for Jojo. <laughs> And then this ike is the imperative form of iku, which means to go. And to make that imperative, the iku just changed the ike. It is an irregular verb, so you just have to kind of memorize that. And that, like, it's a command. This is like the crowd talking, like, so go, Jojo! No, this da 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 He's getting ready. He's rushing over. <laughs> so this part is, it's like it's bang or boom. <laughs> So this sona. So sona is like such something like that. And then yoso is like another place somewhere else, like an outside unrelated thing. And this mono is a person. And like mono, like depending on the kanji, it can either mean like a person or a thing. It's said exactly the same way, but with this kanji, it is specifically referring to a person. If it has the other kanji, then it's referring to a thing. And if it's just mono and hiragana, you kind of get just get it from context. But this yoso mono means like an outsider, like an outside person. Because Dio is like new, and Jojo is like been, you know, this is where he lives, and Dio kind of came in. And then this yachimae is the chao imperative form of yaru. So yaru means to do. And to just make that to its chao form, which like is like the casual version of teishimao, which like teishimao can either mean like you do that action until it's done, or like you regrettably did that. <laughs> like shimatta, it's like, oh, I did that. <laughs> Oops. Um, so here we're just like, um, it's an ichidan verb, so we're taking that do and changing it to chao, so it'd be ya chao. But then it changes a bit funky when it comes to the imperative form because the ma that chi, that like the chao, is changing the chi and then it's we're adding this mai to the end so it's more like a teshimao um so for that that imperative form like it's a command form you're telling someone to do that thing so it's like it is and this is like a mother teshimao version that's like do it completely so it's like Someone's screaming like, go get him, go completely get that outsider. They're not liking Dio. <laughs> Poor Dio. Nope, not for Dio. Uh, let's see, next we have... And this is pretty self-explanatory. He's like, whoa! And like, bah! He's gonna punch him, but he just misses, he touches, no! It's like, oh, I'm so surprised! This whoa is like this missing. And then Gura is like kind of coming in for another hit. But then it just keeps missing. No, what you doing, Jojo? Say, Pafoon! Pia! Shoo! There's all these little sound effects. I'm like, I want to do like, ora, 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 ora. But that's like, it's a different part. <laughs> it's the wrong part for the oras. 
And it's like, nah, it's like you can't get him. So sad. It's like it's all these punches and whoosh noises. Then bitch, it's like it's like it's so close, beep, but he still misses them. And all this wah is the crowd is still like super into it. It's like, oh man, what's Dio doing? That's crazy. So this girl's all guy is all like Nanda ano goku wa. Which means like Nanda is like what? And ano is that? And then ugoki is like movement or activity. And then wa is making that topic. It's kinda of just leaving it up. So I'm like, what? What is that movement? Like, what is he doing? All that fancy footwork the deal's got going on. So let me see. Do, do, do. So it's like, Dio no? Asa, Ashi, Sabaki. So this is like, Ashi, Sabaki is like footwork. So it's like, Dio, and this no is possessive. So it's Dio's footwork. It's like, ah, oh, it's crazy. So this is like imamade is like up until now to this time and then ni is showing like the time of the location so like until this time <laughs> then mita is the past form of miru which is to see or to look at and that is an ichiran ru ending verb so to change it to its past form ru becomes ta so miru becomes mita so like up until this seen it and then it kind of Goes on to the rest of it, which is koto mo nai ugoki da. So it's like I've never seen something like this before. It's like mita koto goes together. So koto is a thing or an event. And mo is like even, like I've never seen it before. And then nai is not non existent. And then ugoki again, which we had up here. And then da is declarative. So like up until now, mita koto mo nai, this whole together means like I haven't seen it, that kind of movement. So I was super impressed. And here, our translator is going to come in with some crazy hard words. <laughs> um, before we start, I gotta say this is like uh, basically saying like we're right now in the manga. We're in the 19th century, so this is explaining that in it wasn't until like the 20th century that like defensive moves against boxing swings were developed. So everything that Dio is doing is kind of like revolutionary. It's like just starting out at this point. So that's why everyone's super surprised. So it started in this. <laughs> we have the yeah. Um, they see everything. Yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> so I thought Niju Seiki. Seiki is like century. And then Ni is like showing the time. So in the 20th century, Haite is the te form of Hairu, which is to enter. And so it's like entering that century. So to make that its te form, that is a godan do ending verb. So that do becomes a tai to and a te. So Hairu becomes Hai. And then like how you just, you pronounce this tsu, which is like the stop. Hai te versus hai te. Then kara is like from or since. It's like from, so like after entering the 20th century, this hatatsu sudu. Hatatsu is development or growth and sudu is to do. So like that development and growth didn't happen until after entering the 20th century. Let me see. Do, 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 do. So this next part is just boxing no swing. So box boxing, that's just the English word for boxing. And then swing is the English word for swing, which is why these are both in katakana. And then this no is just kind of linking them together. So a boxing swing. And then this nado is like etc and things like so stuff like boxing swings and then this no is linking it to boeki which means like defense or a guard against it so 
like a guard against stuff like boxing swings, techniku, another English word, says technique, more katakana, and then datta is like was, which is kind of plain past form of da. So, you know. So defenses, defensive techniques, like against stuff like boxing swings wasn't developed until like after we entered the 20th century. <laughs> so, you know, just explaining how awesome it is that Dio can do all this fancy pants footwork. <laughs> And next we got Jojo's like, oh no, this is such a problem. Ataranai! Shoot! I cannot hit him. This is the plain negative form of ataru, which is to be hit or to strike. And so this is a godan do ending. So to make that do into its negative form, you take that u based ending, change it to its a based ending, and add a nai. So ataru becomes ataranai. Ataranai. Can't hit, won't hit. It's like, oh man, chotto komatta. Let's get this. Okay, so Koitsu is this fellow or this guy? He's talking about Jojo. Omotta is the past form of omo, which is to think or to consider and to make that into its past form. The godan u from that u ending changes to a tiny tsu and a ta. So omo becomes omota, which is like I thought. And then yori is like much more than, so like more than I thought. Surudoi is like to be sharp or cutting. And then punchy here, this is just English for punch. So like a sharp punch. And then that is declared declarative. So like this guy's punches are like way sharper, way sharper than I thought. And then daga ne, and like daga is but, and however, ne is kind of like just adding emphasis really here. It's like, but. Oh man, so it's like, his punches are way stronger than I thought they'd be. But. Spoiler, no! Poor Jojo. <laughs> but for this class, I'm going to leave us here, and then we'll get Jojo's harrowing defeat in the next time. Look forward to that. Or don't. I don't know. This <laughs> is for Jojo. It's a little sad in the beginning, but it gets good. <laughs> so I hope you guys had fun, learned some, all about these punchies in the 20th century. <laughs> um, like, next time, we'll continue on. Thanks for coming. Matane. Mm-hmm. <laughs>